Last time out on the show, we caught up with Football Hall of Famer Mel Renfro to talk about his incredible NFL career. Here's part two of that interview. That was actually one of the reasons why we wanted to have you on our show this morning as well, was to talk a little bit about a project that you've been working on and with another couple of NFL greats and Ken Houston and Joe Green. And it has to do with uh, Southern Recipe and Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Yeah, they're gearing up for their 13th annual Pork Rind Appreciation Day. I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about that. I know Coach Dick is involved with that, and it's a charity that does a lot for players uh, from yesteryear, stars of yesteryear, that could certainly use it. Well, you can get addicted on those things. Uh, my wife put them in front of me. I, I just couldn't stop eating them. Uh, being able to uh, align myself with some of the other players, uh, mean Joe Green, who dear friend of mine uh, t- till this day, and uh, uh, put together the, the gridiron greats to raise funds for those guys that didn't, you know, didn't make the big bucks that they're making these days. Uh, you know, I, I look at some of these players who make more in one game or one play than I made my whole career. So it's incredible uh, the amount of money that they make. Uh, but the guy that when we played, we didn't make that kind of money. So there is a need to raise funds to help those guys with their physical and emotional needs. And Mel, many times retired greats, like we said, from that era, uh, often struggle with paying bills. And, you know, what what can fans at home do to try to assist them? I mean, they, they grew up watching these players. They idolize them. They love them. Uh, people, of course, that were your fans. What can they do to step up to try to, uh, to help them out? Just get involved, you know, uh, 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 Pull up the website, uh, you know, see where you can participate in, in donations and, and, and follow what's going on. Uh, like I said, Mike Ditka and I go back from the beginning and he's got a heart of gold. If I'd do anything for the guy. He called me right now. I'd fly to Chicago and have lunch with him. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a need uh, that you can't imagine uh, someone who's, who played the game, who had the notoriety, who has no money now, can't even pay their bills or their rent, can't take care of their families. You know, that's why we reach out uh, as far as we can uh, and do what we can to help these these former players. Now, do you ever get a chance to go like on YouTube and watch uh, some of the highlights from, you know, from your career? Yeah, sometimes uh, it's always fun to, to, to pull pull that up, you know, my grandkids always, uh, they see old film of me and say, wow, you know, he's like, wow, grandpa, uh, that's some good stuff. And uh, it's just, you feel good to know that your, 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 your memory's there, your, your history's there, and the people will remember you for, you know, for all time. When you look back at those days, or maybe if the grandkids or just even, you know, some of the fans from today ask you about you know, watching today's game and the modern game, is there is there a particular player that you watch in today's game that reminds you a bit of yourself? Well, they're, they're, it's a different game. It's really a different game, the way they, they, they cover, uh, the way they line up, the uh, sets, uh, you know, four or five receivers at a time. Uh, the way that the, the, the defenses are said, uh, it, it's hard for me to determine sometimes, you know, what the game plan is and what they're trying to do. But they, they make it entertaining, and uh, there's some incredible athletes out there. You see some incredible plays, and, you know, it's just to enjoy. It's, it's, it's a joy to watch the game and to just remember back and know that you were a part of that. And, uh you know, it's just it's it's just like uh, what America's all about. They say baseball, uh, but uh, football is right there, uh, right there with it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, when I go back to watch some of your highlights, I think uh, uh, maybe a fair modern comparison might be someone like Deion Sanders, who had such a an incredible impact on the game. Well, Deion, uh, incredible player, uh, incredible speed. Incredible eye for the ball, uh, uh, incredible uh, personality. You know, he had the Hollywood personality to the game. And, uh, 
I, I enjoy watching a guy like that. Uh, uh, I, I always joke, uh, and I don't mean anything down about uh, Dion, but, uh, you know, I, I was, uh, Dion, uh, a lot of offense, uh, kind of a part-time player, but Bill Renfro was a full-time player. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, you know, before we let you go, Mel, I mean, thinking and reminiscing about some of those uh, great seasons for you, you and your career, uh, is there still like a, a certain game that stands out? I mean, I, I'm assuming the two Super Bowls have to be at the top of that list, but uh, so many great moments, even in the Pro Bowl, being a defensive MVP in one of the Pro Bowls that you played. Well, yeah, Pro Bowl, I, I guarantee you, when we lost Super Bowl five, it was probably one of the downest moments of my life. I mean, we, we, it's our game. We win that game, uh, bad official calls, tip pass, all that baloney. Uh, the official gave, gave the game to Baltimore. And I was down that whole week. I went out to LA to play in the Pro Bowl. Didn't leave my room the entire week. Well, played the game, uh, you know, four quarters, uh, all on defense, all special teams returned two punts for touchdowns and uh, was named uh, offensive MVP as a defensive back. And I think that kind of brought me back to life and took some of the sting out of losing Super Bowl V. And uh, fortunately, we came back the very next year and won Super Bowl VI. So, you know, it was a Cinderella ending and uh, – that I think that Pro Bowl really brought me back to life at a very down time. That's wonderful, Mel. And, you know, I don't know how often uh, I'm assuming that you probably do. I mean, I see your Cowboy shirt there. I mean, are you still uh, watching the team a lot? I know after your playing days, you had gone on to scout and coach and uh, work in different capacities, especially as a motivational speaker, but uh, still keeping tabs on the Cowboys. They've been playing pretty well this year. Oh, yeah. No question about it. I'm right on top of it. Uh, it's hard to understand sometimes the roller coaster, the up and down. And, and, and you know, it seems like it's a team effort. Uh, when they play bad, they all play bad. When they play good, they all play good. So if, if the coach could find the key to, to what, why that is happening and put some consistency in the, how they play you know, each and every game, each and every play, I think they've got a chance to do very well this year. They definitely appear to have the talent to win the whole thing, especially when they're playing at their best. A absolutely. Uh, they, they've got what it takes. They've got the ingredients. They've got the formula. Uh, they've got to get a more consistent attitude, and they're going to be right there on top at the end. Well, Mel, I, I hope that the Cowboys are able uh, to get things together. It would be nice uh, to see America's team back in business uh, really appreciate you taking some time with us. And again, you know, for the fans at home, you know, please take advantage and, and try to help out uh, with this great uh, charity to try to help some of the, the great stars of yesteryear. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate being on the show. Thanks again, Mel.